Also breaking tonight, a judge has ruled against a teacher's union trying to block the Bristol Warren School District from reopening classrooms. The decision comes with most schools across the state scheduled to begin classes on Monday. 12 News reporter Steph Machado was in court in Providence for the hearing and joins us live with an update. Steph. If the judge had sided with the union, it could have had a domino effect across the state, but she did not agree with the teachers union that the Bristol Warren school should not reopen, paving the way for kids to be back in class next week. Judge Melissa Long denying an attempt by the union representing Bristol Warren teachers to block school from reopening on Monday because of safety concerns. The court cannot ignore the fact that 73% of parents and students in the district have requested that students go to school in person nor that an 11th hour shift to distance learning will negatively impact students. The union filed suit based on a state law that says each year, every local fire chief, local building inspector, the director of the Department of Health and the director of the Department of Labor and Training must determine and notify local superintendents as to whether their school buildings conform to state laws and regulations. The lawyer for the Bristol Warren Education Association argued that should apply to the state's COVID-19 facilities guidance. Because right now, teachers are not feeling comfortable going back to the rooms. But Judge Long disagreed, siding with the school department that the law does not apply to COVID-19. Superintendent Jonathan Bryce wrote in an affidavit that HVAC concerns detailed in a recent state walkthrough were being addressed. We've also taken a number of other steps to support uh, the increased airflow, which is necessary uh, for our classrooms. NEA Rhode Island Executive Director Robert Walsh says the court decision does not mean the union won't take action in the future, and he urged districts to move forward with caution. Don't be shy about this. Do not be bullied into opening. If you are not ready to open a building or a particular classroom, do not open. And Bristol Warren has already had one teacher test positive for COVID-19. Eight others are in quarantine as a result. That's why the Colt Andrews School is not reopening next week as it needs to be deep cleaned. Four other schools are reopening, plus the high school is having a very limited reopening. Live in Providence, Steph Machado, 12 News.